Hello, my little witchlings. Oh, Carla's here, by the way. She's here. Hi! So, today's video, we are going to be going through all of my eyeshadow collection, which I was looking at at my desk because there's a lot. So, Oh, some might be repeats of last year. I don't think there is a lot of them from last year that are repeats, but if there is, there is. I can't believe how much I have bought. And this is why coming up in the new year, I will be doing a no buy probably. Or if it is a buy, it's a very, very small buy because I have way too many. So let's get this started uh we'll go through this pile over here because there's just so many so the first thing i see is this da -da -da -da, smash box i wonder if i've even used this <laughs> it doesn't uh, look like it no well they're really pretty maybe i i should use it but no nope. haven't used that one next we have this tardis pro to go kit hmm Oh, it's used. Ooh, I found something to use. So I been used. <laughs> don't think I am going to keep onto this one. And I think Carla's going to be my bestest friend of the palace. And I'm like, I don't think I need more because guess what? They're all going to go to her. <laughs> so here you go. <gasps> Merry Yay. Christmas to me. Say hi. They can't see you. Hi, I'm close up, but Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I have are these two Revlons right here. And I have not used these, so here you go, Carla. I was actually eyeballing this one. Can't say anything. Oh, there I was you go. Eyeballing that one, the neutral one. Mm -hmm. If it was blurry, sorry. <laughs> but they're pretty. Thanks, Liz. So the next thing I have is this French Kiss. Um, by Lancome. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look at that. But you know what? I'm not going to use it. So here you go, Carla. Yeah. And the next one I have is this Too Faced Cat Eyes. And I am missing a shade in this palette as well, right here. It is a pretty palette, but like I said, I'm not going to be using it. So here you go, Carla. You didn't realize some of these are probably gonna end up going to my daughter. That's since, fine. Since she has found makeup as well. So. And next is Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly. Peanut butter. And this is what this one looks like. I am gonna keep on to this one. That one is pretty. Because I absolutely like do love this one. I'm just like looking, so you can just. The, oh my god, next. girl, this one isn't even. Next, used. I have the Violet Foss Essentials palette right here. And. These are the colors right here. And as Carla was noticing, I have an extra one. So here you go, Carla. Next is the Betty Boot palette that I got in my Ipsy. Uh, and there she is right there. And of course, <laughs> it's not used, but hopefully I will get into this palette eventually. So I said, I have a problem. I have way too many palettes that I haven't even used yet. Next I have, oh I love this palette. This is the um, Physicians Formula Butter Shadows. Gorgeous palette. I've heard that company actually is, um, I don't think I've ever used any of their products. Yeah, I don't I think I have good. either because um, it's not even open. It's not girl. even open yet. So we're gonna have to dig into this palette. Next I have the Hidden Treasures palette. I just got this one in my um, Boxy Charm. Right here, it is kind of crumbly, but it is a very pretty palette. Let's see, next I have this Beauty Glazed right here palette. Ooh. Just like that, it is a pretty palette, but you know what? I'm not gonna use this one, so this will be a Carla palette. For real? So, I've done pretty good, I've gotten rid of a few. I have way too many, like I said, so that's, we need to get rid of some of these. Some of them I wanna keep, a lot of them I'm gonna keep. So my color's like, I'll take it. <laughs> like I said, I have a teenager at home, so she's just found makeup, so. And yeah, my conspiracy palette that I got for myself for Christmas, she was the first one to use it, so. Oh yeah. 
So next this is uh, Blushy Berries from Dust of Colors. This came in a boxy charm. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I will be keeping that one. Next we have the Celestial Thunder Palette by Dumit Cosmetics. And there she is. She's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the blue and orange in there. That was great. <laughs> Next I have a Morphe palette right here. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? I think I used one or two colors of this palette, but she is gorgeous. So, oh my lord. <laughs> Next, we have this Pure Be Your Selfie palette, and it is right here. So, I have used this one a lot. This I'm, is a maybe, and I'm going to keep or I'm going to get rid of, so we're just going to put that to the side. Next is the Pure Midnight Masquerade palette, and there are the colors. I am not going to use this palette. You've got a highlighter and some blushes and stuff, so, Carla, do you want this palette? It's a maybe. We'll see. We're going to put it in the side. <laughs> maybe. Next, I have the BoxyCharm Pure. This is the first palette that I ever received from BoxyCharm. And I do love the colors in it. So it is very pretty. Looks like gel colors almost. Next, we have the Pure Festival palette right here. Another very pretty palette. Which came from Boxy Charm. Next, we have the Moon Palette by Laura Sanchez. And this is what it looks like. I love when you open this up. Look at this. It's oh, gorgeous. Oh, I like the artwork. That is pretty. And there's the colors inside of it. Um, I have not used this palette and I'm not planning on using it. So this will be one that I am going to declutter as well. Next, I have the Ace Beauté palette. I love this palette so much. Isn't it beautiful? Look at all those colors. So pretty. <laughs> and we have the Butter London palette right here. Another BoxyCharm palette. Colors are so... Oh, hold on. The colors are so, so pretty in this palette as well. So... Kind of like a bohemian moment. Yes, I do like oh, that I one. Know. Next, I have the Urban Duque Moon Dust palette. And look at all those glitters. Aren't this pretty? Yes. And then I have the Laura Lee. This is another boxy charm palette. The Party Animal palette. That is some vibrant colors. Then I have the Nubian by Juvia's Place. This was in my Allure box, created by Nikki Tutorials. Okay, we're getting there slowly. Next, I have the Tetris palette right here. Look at those colors. I think I've used this palette once, but this palette is going into a maybe because I don't think I'm ever going to use them. Next, I have the Pirates of the Caribbean by Lorac. And there's the colors. I have not used this for a whole year, so this is going into the maybe pile. Next, we have the Alamar palette. This is one of my favorite palettes ever. Look at these colors. This was also gifted to me in BoxyCharm in the summer of, uh, I think, two years ago. So, beautiful palette. Love it so much. Next, I have the Nude New by Huda Beauty. Love this palette. Gorgeous palette. And I do also have the dupe for this palette. Right here, this is the Beauty Creations Tease Me palette, right there. So, but since I have this one, I am going to put this one in the maybe palette. The maybe pile. Next, I have this crown palette right here. And I look like I swatched it. But I think I am going to keep this palette because it is absolutely stunning. Next is one of my favorite palettes. It is the Riviera by Anastasia Beverly Hills. That one was a pretty color story. This really color, story, color story yeah, is absolutely incredible. And I cannot wait to pull this out for summer again. The next palette is my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Love 
this palette so much. You can tell I have used it and oh, wow. abused really it. Have I have. It. And for me to have a palette that looks like this is, is it's a lot because my palettes never look like that. So next I have one of the first palettes I ever bought myself, one of the two. This is the Naked Urban Decay Heat. And there she is right there. She is very pretty. Next, I have the London Metropolis 14 color eyeshadow palette right here. And there, there she is. This one I'm putting into a maybe pile because I'm not sure about that one. Next, I have the Naked Urban Smoky Decay. This is another one of the first, you know, name brand eyeshadow palettes that I have ever bought to do a smoky eye. But she is absolutely stunning. Okay, next pile, one pile down. So I'm gonna get these two. <laughs> My trusty old friend over there. Next we have my favorite palette of all time and this is the Be Mermaid palette from Tarte. I love it. If I can open it up. As you can tell, I have used, I hit pan on the shadow. I have never hit pan on the shadow but this one. Love this palette. And this is the one for this year for the from Tarte, which I absolutely love. I think they're still selling that one, aren't they? Yeah, they're still selling both of them, actually. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Love it. So next, I have the Aftershock palette. This is the Bad Habit palette. Look at those colors. And I've never even touched this. Now, that's an 80s moment. Need to get into that palette. Here is the Bad Habit After Dark palette in the neutrals. Oh, they're so beautiful. I need to get into these. Next, we have the Bad Habit in Light Speed, which still have never used. So I'm, I'm thinking about, actually I'm putting this one in the maybe pile. I'm not too sure about that one yet. Next, we have the Aura palette. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. A lot of these you really haven't touched, have I, you? No, I haven't used a lot of my palettes. Next, we have Retro Love. And that one, that's not really speaking to me, so I think I'm gonna put this one in you know what, the maybe pile. A lot of these, pile. are these like some that came in the boxy charm? No, these the are stuff? knockoffs that I bought. Okay. Yeah. So next we have Royals right there and this is another one that I think I'm just going to put off to the side for right now. I'm not sure if that's a yes or a no on those. So next we have Athena. Look at that one. Oh my gosh, oh, that is that's a gorgeous. Story. That kind of looks like the Huda, the, the Huda Beauty one. Huda one? Yep. I, I thought that was saying it And wrong. then we have Aphrodite. Look at that one. Oh Still, God. none of these have been used yet. I bought these and just never used them. And then we have Supernova. And it seems like a majority of these are like bad habit. Is that like, this is like a company I've never heard of. They're, they're not in business anymore. They went out of business. Oh, okay. And there she is right there. She is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. Next we have the Shining Bright Pro Eyeshadow Palette the by Lorac. And there she is right there. This was gifted to me as a giveaway. But I am going to put this, give this to Carla if she wants it because I've only used this once. Nice. I really like the, cool, co the, the color story in this too. Next we have the Violet Boss Pro eyeshadow palette right here. And she's beautiful. Love her. See, next we have this Blizzard 28 Cool Collection palette. Open it up. Right here. A lot of cool tones, which I don't have a ton of cool tones. That one is pretty good. And next we have the Cosmo Collection with all bright colors. These are really good too. I think I paid like 10 bucks for these palettes. No. Next we have Supernova by BH Cosmetics. Right there. They are gorgeous. This is Solar Flare right here and she is gorgeous next we have aurora lights not beautiful and we have galaxy cheek right here and it's got like the different colors of the moons and stuff like that 
Then we have this Nomad palette. I think this came in my Ipsy. Right here, and this is what it looks like. And another one that has never been used, but absolutely gorgeous. Next, we have some Huda Beauty. These came from my Ipsy. This is the Topaz Obsession. I love these so much. And then I have the Coral Obsession one. And then I have Smoky Obsession. Right here. And then I have Mauve Obsession right here. Gorgeous. And we just got this in our BoxyCharm. This is a Storybook Cosmetics one, Fairy Tale. And she is pretty, pretty, pretty. And then we have <laughs> the James Charles palette. I ranted and raved about this palette all last year. And I did use so much of it. And it is still a very good palette, though. I do love it. May not like him as much as I used to, but I still love the palette. And then I have a couple little tart ones. And there's one. This is the Under the Sea. And then I have the Rainforest of the Sea one right here. And then we get to another tart. This is another tart one I bought pretty much as a collector's piece, but it has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Eyeshadows, blushes, you name it, it's in here. This pretty much just sits on my desk for looks. <laughs> and let's see what else I have. And I think it's time for a color pop. Holy crap. Last year when I started this, I think I had one color pop palette which was, let me see if I can find it. Yep, here it is. Which was My Little Pony, which I still love it. It's very cute. It's one of the first palettes oh, wow. I ever got that in BoxyCharm. And then we have the Wet Palette right here. Gorgeous palette. We have Lit right here. Isn't that pretty? And I have Good Sport right here. I just bought the brand new Good As Gold palette. It's pretty, I've used it once. We have Sweet Talk. So beautiful. And then we have Whatever. Right here. And this is another one I, this is a one, I bought this to do a video with Amanda Beth. And this is the ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette absolutely beautiful the green in that palette is absolutely stunning okay here we go even more we have the going coconuts palette I will definitely say this is my favorite palette from ColourPop believe it or not it is absolutely just the colors are absolutely gorgeous they work so well and then we have smoke show and there she is right there. Baby Got Peach. Right there, another beautiful palette. We have Brown Sugar. I think I want this one. Right here. The Brown Sugar. Then we have It's My Pleasure palette. We have A Lilac You A Lot. Right there. Uh-huh, uh honey. beautiful yellows. Seed with Caution. Right there. Strawberry Shake. Oh, stop opening it around my idiot. Right there. Have I even used this palette? No. It does not look like it. Ooh la la. Right there. Bean Squeeze. I don't know how I feel about you. Glad. And that one's pretty. I actually don't like that one. I love that one. You have Soul. Right there. Beautiful oranges and stuff in it. Just My Luck. Right there. Mar. 
right there. I love this palette. And the last one I have for ColourPop is Blue Moon. Love this palette so much. And two more Anastasia palettes. I have the Modern Renaissance right there, which I haven't used yet. And I have the Soft Glam right there. And from Mini MUA, I have the brand new Mini X Mini MUA palette, which is absolutely stunning. And I think one of my favorite palettes of the year is this Moon Spell by Lunar Beauty. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this palette so much. And by Juvia's Place, I have the Masquerade palette right here, which I have not used yet. And can't forget about Tati. Me and I have used this sucker up. Look how dirty it is. Mm. But what a beautiful palette she did with this. I absolutely love it so much. So, and then we get to the main people in my palette. I have worked so hard this year to stock up on my Jeffree Star collection. So here is Blue Blood right here. Absolutely gorgeous. We have a Blood Sugar. Open this one up. Another beautiful palette. We have, ta da da, the palette of the year. Seems like the conspiracy palette. That broke the internet. That literally Mom's broke not. the internet. <laughs> right here. Beautiful. And mine, actually, if you look at it right here, it's sticky. This shade right here was sticking up right here, so mine was kind of broken, but it's still together, so I didn't complain about it. But I'm very happy to have the conspiracy palette. We have the mini breaker right there. That one's pretty. I really like that one. And then we have mini controversy right there. Carlo has this one. Yeah. And we have androgyny right here, which I have not used yet. And we have jawbreaker right here, which that I have used pretty. a little bit. And last but not least, what I am wearing today on my eyeballs, we have the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. Right here. So, my back's hurting. <laughs> this has been a very long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys will keep subscribing to my channel and I hope you guys will ring the bell so you will be notified every single time they upload a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful and magical day. Feel bad for us because we gotta put all the stuff away. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.